so hello guys welcome back in this video we are going to take a look how css grid system is work for building responsive layout for your website okay also we are creating with the help of css grid this gallery here you can see that all the images is look dynamic and also we are fetching images from database with the help of php and mysql so let's start here you can see that uh, i have a main index.php and another is style.css css styling purpose okay and i am uh, linked this style sheet in the header so start with creating div with the class uh, main container Within the container, we have division with the class gallery container. And within gallery container, we have another div with the class image. Okay. This contain a main image. So in uh, image division we have image tag with the source images. So we are directly fetching images from database with the help of PHP. Okay. Also uh, we have div inside the gallery container with the class name text. In this div, we are displaying all the title of, of the image. Okay, title. Okay, so uh, for uh, fetching all images from database. I have one uh, database name called example and there I have created one table name called grid and also I am inserted uh, seven images images name and title okay you can also uh, create this similar structure So start with PHP first of all we need to build a connection so my SQLI connect is a function used to build a connection to the server database host is local host root username password is blank by default and database name is example x a and p n e in our case so and a query Queries select all record from table name called as grid. Okay, and run the query. So for that, my SQLI query function is used to run, and this will require two parameters. One is connection another is query variable okay 
so first of all checking if my sqli number of rows or function which require one parameter the run query run variable is greater than zero that means if we are getting more than zero result then we uh, iterate through uh, something a uh, loop structure so in my case i am using while loop uh, so create one variable where you want to fetch your all result and uh, with the help of mysql I fetch underscore ass oc associative array or also you can use array also mysql I fetch array function and this also uh, requires similar run variable okay so we iterate the uh, gallery container okay so uh, here it's time to break the php here Okay, cut here and paste before the closing of gallery container view. Okay, so here for a uh, uh, fetching dynamic uh, image name, we are using inside we are using inside image tag the PHP tag okay echo image we are not created till so uh fetch all record so we are uh, storing in the variable image of row the similar name row of image the database uh, table column this uh, column name image and also we want to fetch the title row of title and database table column name title okay so we are uh, stored this uh, images in the variable image and uh, uh, displaying here and similar way in the text displaying the title so save it So we are getting the images, all seven images that we are uh, stored the uh, name of the image in the database table name and this image uh, folder contain the all image, all seven images. Okay. So it's time to styling the images. Okay, this is basic for all margin and padding equal to zero. First of all, take this container. So class container. So we are using a CSS grid. For that, display declare a grid. And another grid template column. 
how many column you want to uh, include or you want in a single column okay so we want six column okay for that uh, we using fraction one fr one fr and so on until six okay uh, for simple we are using repeat six column with one fraction okay and also we want a gap between this column so create gap point to rem save okay. it will not affect so proceed further after that we have a div called gallery container width with 100% height with 100% of its parent view ok after that we have a image division where actual image is placed ok so similar way width is 100% of its parent height with 100% of its parent and overflow if some uh, overflow means uh, if uh, content is flowing out of the tube then we can hide that content for that overflow is overflow hidden is used after that we are uh, targeting directly the image with the division image and inside the actual image ok so width height same 100% 100% ok at that point we refresh so ok uh, we got basic grid ok so next thing is object fit object fit is cover so cover the parent width and height ok object fit cover next property is object position object position is 50% 50% means x 50% and y 50% suppose if I am commenting this property If you uh, resize the window, means uh, decreasing the width of uh, your window, browser window, okay. So uh, you can notice the image object is shrinking down and not uh, in the center of view. For uh, removing that thing, we using the object position 50 50 percent means the content is basically at the uh, center of the image okay so apply some animation transition 0.4 second and animation type linear okay
so also we want if uh, we hover uh, hover that means if we uh, hover the image hover our image so we want this image is pop up with that if we hover on image so transform with scale of 1.4 okay save if you refresh you can see that if we hover that particular image the image is scale let's say Uh, also, we want uh, this uh, title of that uh, respective image to the center of its uh, div, center of its uh, image. Okay, for that, just take a look of the gallery. So, text div is inside a uh, gallery container. If you want uh, this uh, title center of the image, for that we need to display, we need to uh, set position with uh, the parent parent of the uh, text div position with relative and Take the uh, text text div position absolute from top. We have fifty percent means half of the div and left fifty percent from top half and left half. So middle of the div, 50% and 50%. The color of text is white, and uh, font size 24 pixels. Save it. So you can see that uh, we are not getting that uh, center this text into center so we need to uh, fix this thing for that transform translate translate minus 50 percent from minus 50 percent from left and minus 50 percent from top If we save, so we getting the perfect image, getting the perfect center at a particular title. Okay. Uh, so we want if we hover that particular image, so this title is come out. So for that, also apply animation transition 0.4 second linear. So we want, if we hover on the gallery container, then only this uh, text div is shown. For that, set opacity to 0. So initial stage, we are hiding this uh, item. And if you hover, 
over to image this uh, text div is show okay so for that opacity create one refresh if you hover so you can see that this title is shown with a nice transition effect animation effect okay so also we want animation on to that okay so uh, animation give any name move down okay point for second and uh, in this case we are using using out using out animation type for the uh, using animation use at at keyframe keyframes and the animation name and declare the properties so for basic 1% we are going to minus uh, going to 15% from top or 35% or sorry 50% we are down to one top 35 percent and 50 percent uh, sorry 100 percent so we are going to down to top 50 percent means half of the day so save it if you refresh so we are getting this cool effect if you hover that particular image the title is come from top from 10 percent 35 percent and finally 50 percent that means the center of image center of d so we are getting a basic the gallery function gallery effect So we want to create the dynamic gallery for that we need to target the main uh, container and its uh, child divs so main driver container is container class okay? and inside we have this divs for that we are uh, using the CSS and child selector. So main container all the divs with and child selector. First we are using first child uh, targeting first child. So uh, we are also using another uh, grid property called as grid row. Or also, uh, we are uh, we can use grid column span two. Okay, you can see the effect with which. So, if we target first grid, so this will span the two column. This will span two column. Okay. So 
similarly apply this style to different grids okay so uh, in second child second in grid rows or also a uh, grid column span 3 The sec second div is span 3 element. Also make it 4. So this will take all 2, 4. Okay. You can uh, create your own grid styles, the gallery styles. Okay. So I'm added all the grid column and rows and here you can see that this uh, cool grid with the help of CSS grid. Okay. One more thing, thing is uh, add, you can add this property grid auto rows that means uh, it will generate more dynamic things. Yeah. Uh, first rows row is 150 pixels 150 pixels and second row is 350 pixels and 350 pixels and so on okay so we are generated this cool grid so final thing to add the media query for responsive design for that and that is media max width maximum width is 768 small device pixels okay so we want the gallery uh, container to display only two column so for that uh, create template column repeat repeat two times with one fraction save refresh inspect element uh, toggle device and 768 with width so you can see that we getting the single images so thank you guys for the CSS grid responsive image gallery with the help of PHP and MySQL okay so uh, uh, upcoming next video uh, in this playlist uh, we are uh, only take look how we can add the uh, what I call to, uh, light box effect that means if we click that particular image so this image is come out with uh, with a model window okay so thank you guys see you there